Hi guys, Fred Tippins here with Valley Implement Company. I'm going to walk through how to build an Eropod system here. Pretty simple. Uh, what you need is a half inch long socket. You need a drill bit that is 9 16 and you need a Phillips screwdriver. That's all you need to build that. I just point out when you're building one of these, there's two different pipe sizes that you can have. So we're building the larger pipe size, but you just have to keep that in mind through the whole building process. Wherever you're going, the saddle and everything else runs that same size. They come in packaged kits, so those work pretty easy. Um, they have everything you need here. And you just tell us how many Eropod heads that you want to put on the system, and you can go ahead and do that. So Coulter will go ahead and just place these brackets under here, and those are what support it. Now Dylan's going to go ahead and dry, uh, drill the pipe for us. So we've got this 9 16 head, and we just drill down. Make sure you clean all the junk out so it doesn't end up in your pipe. And uh, then you've got this little saddle that comes on here. It comes with a kit for an O-ring. Make sure you put that O-ring in there so it won't leak on you. And now Coulter's put the bolts up through. So he's verified that he's got the larger pipe on here. He's put the saddle in on the bottom and he's made sure that he's got the larger saddle in there as well. Now he's dropped the pipe in. He's gonna slide the pipe down to the hole and now we line it up and we line it up off the bolts and we just press it into the head there now we just put our uh, bolts on culture if you'll put those on and we just put those on with a half inch socket so we go ahead and do those now we have to build the handle and the handle can be built quite handily and we found it's actually a little easier to build it before we set it on top so as soon as Coulter's done drilling those on, we'll show you how to put the handle on. Okay. If you look here on the bottom, you can see that they have to go inside of that little clip. Those are in that clip good and then they'll take quite a bit better so we got the saddle in then we put the top piece in and we line them up okay go through put those bolts on for us okay why he's doing that let me just come over and show you this. You run these up through the top first, and that makes it a little easier to put them on once you get the head on. this in here. We'll come in and bolt that in in a second. Coulter, do you want to get our bolts out for us? And then this just pops in right here.
Coulter will screw those in now for us. And then we line these up. And this is another one that has two different pipe sizes. So you've got to make sure you have the proper pipe size. Go ahead, put that on. Okay. Okay, you got the next one, Coulter? Okay, now this and these are really quite tight, but we found if we can get them kind of started over here, and then we just start working our way back, they will take. And sometimes we've used the pry bar, and that's helped us a little bit get those around some of those edges. And then you can put on whatever head that you want right in here. Uh, we don't have our heads yet, so I'm just going to cover these up until we can get the head put on next week. And then we will go along and bolt these on. So Coulter's going to go ahead and just uh, go along with the screwdrivers. So let me just give a quick summary to finish this up. You guys, for years we sold a lot of hand line. A phenomenal product that worked good. If you have horses, these work way better. Horses do not kick and break these. Uh, little people can move these. It's way easier and lighter to move. It's got a nice handle system. You can also move them with a four-wheeler and a drag type system. If these flip over with the four-wheeler, this actually protects it from falling and your entire pod is protected down here. So in summary, this has been a great little system. We can deliver it to you in a box instead of a pipe trailer and you basically just pick out the spacing you need. I might make one other comment. What we did before we set these up is we went along and spray painted our spacing with each one that we wanted so that when we got down here we weren't wondering and having to remeasure. So as you look down the hill you can see we've already measured everywhere that we need. But this is a good system. Some uh, people are really catching onto this as an inexpensive way to get your fields watered. It's a handy way to set up. You can put these together quite easily. I'm Fred Tittenzer with Valley Implement Company. It was our pleasure to show you today just a little bit on how to assemble these. Thank you.